Hi, I'm Gary Byers, and I'm at Tal El Hammam in the Jordan Valley on the Jordanian side, and it's January, and it's shirt sleeve weather, and I'm hot, and I'm tired, and I'm dusty, but it's awesome. Welcome to archaeology. Jesus one time told us that a wise man builds his house on a rock. Now, here we are in a section of residential housing inside a city wall. Now, right here, it goes back to the time of Abraham in the Old Testament. So these aren't the houses Jesus was talking about, but it was the same concept. Now, over there is Israel, and I dig there in the West Bank at Kirbet el Makader. Up in the mountains, uh, everybody builds their house. They dig right down to bedrock. Yeah. And they put their, their foundation is right on solid stone on the bedrock surface of the earth. Here in the Jordan Valley, bedrock's not so close, not so easy. So they made a, an artificial bedrock. And here it is, right here, stone foundation footers of this house that dates back to the time of Abraham in the Old Testament. And on the very top here, this is the last, the, the very first coating of mud brick on top. Now that doesn't look very good, but take a look over here at this mud brick on this stone foundation. And I think you can probably see that really well. And so these were houses built on a rock, artificial rock. But Jesus, the Bible says he was a, a, a tecton, translated carpenter, also translated builder architect comes from that same word and so Jesus was a builder he knew about building and Jesus said a wise man builds his house on the rock and of course a wise man listens to God's word and learns to do a little better job welcome to Tal el Hamam welcome to biblical archaeology in action